today was a cluster bomb. Uh, I think it on the air till 645. Why? Apparently the settings, I'm sure they're really interested in this. Hello. Uh, the settings were messed with back in the engineering control area. I didn't know that. And so I got, to, I got here around 5. There were two mistakes. A, on our end, we, the settings got messed with here. And on the SA end, uh, the dude didn't answer the phone until 5.55. Called him a few times. But, you know, he, he was busy doing stuff and didn't know I was calling him. Wow. And then by the time I, we realized that the settings had been messed with here, it was 6 o'clock and he was firing off the intro. So I got pissed and went home. I got pissed at him, and I just said, F it. <clears throat> Acted like a diva. <laughs> I'm not a diva. I have no reason well, to be one, but... That's unacceptable. He can't get me on the air at 645. Hell, we're just starting out. 95% of Austinites that give a crap hate me right now. Welcome. And apparently, and I'm also pissed because the show is the Mike Taylor show. It used to be... A different name. Mm -hmm. now, I guess I use the old name today at 740. One segment I did it. And Madonna's getting hit with a bunch of calls. How dare he play that other station? How dare he screw up? I mean, it's, been, it's not even been two weeks. So. Well, at least people are listening if they're complaining. I know. One guy sent me an email the other day. I've listened to seven consecutive shows, and it is awful. And tomorrow it's probably going to be awful again. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> So what, uh, you were on vacation? Yeah, had fun. What'd you do? Nothing. Bunch of staycation stuff. Yeah? We, uh, took up kayaking. My wife and I are now avid kayakers on Lake Austin. Welcome to Austin, all those Austin people. Really... Mm -hmm. Go to hell, he's good, kayaking. <laughs> guy, kayaking SOB. Right we, went, we went to Top Golf. My wife discovered Top Golf. How's that? Awesome. We've been want we've been wanting to try we've been wanting to try it. It just opened. We've been wanting to try that. Badass. It's like a it's like a it's a it's a driving range on steroids where you walk in there and they've got these different. It's this massive sports bar. It's real cool. It looks like any it looks like a really kick-ass sports bar. If they if they just build themselves as that, that'd be worth it. But no, then they've got it, it's at a driving range and they've got three different levels. So you can like get it's like you're like and we went up to the top level. It's like you're driving you're driving golf balls off the roof of a building, which is cool. <laughs> Makes you feel like you're hitting it longer and higher. <laughs> so you have to rent clubs. Uh, no, they they're free. I mean, you have to. It's a five dollar membership, and then uh, with, your, membership. with your membership, it's five bucks. <laughs> you get all this stuff and amenities, but they have a, they have a, a whole set of clubs that you can just use. Okay. You don't, have to, you don't have to rent them. You can take your own clubs if, clubs if you want. Oh, you can? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, that was awesome. They're not paying me. I just, it was all, I was not great. Yet. Not yet. Not yet. Wait till they see this video. <laughs> what, uh, how are we feeling about the heat? <clears throat> oh, the heat. Oh, heat. Um, so here's the thing. We're rolling on, this, this is being done the day before. I've, I've teased Thursday, 8 a.m. I'm going to go on the record. The official Taylor Power Index NBA Finals prediction. So you don't want to give it away now. I'm leaning heat as this as this video is recorded. I'm leaning heat. Uh, I'm not official. I want to sleep on it one more night. Everything I see is heat in seven. Really? Yeah. See, it's probably going to be Spurs in six or Miami in seven. Does that makes sense. Yeah. Last team that gets to play at home wins. Yeah. Did you uh, get a chance to listen to or look at some of the stuff that Mac said at all or in his press conference the other day? or? Yeah, Mac touted this kid Swoops from what, White Right. Is that right? Yeah. He touted Swoops, and I can't find anybody that can, can explain to me why he touts Swoops. All I hear on Swoops is he's, he sucks. His team went 1-9 and nine last year in high school. He's incredibly athletic, but you know what? So are the other 95 kids in there. Well, it's funny because, like, the, the day of the spring game, he got in, I guess, for a couple series, mm -hmm. and it's like everybody that was sitting behind me, I was just kind of covering it for our station. Everybody that was just sitting behind me was just like, oh, he made a 12 yard run. He's the next Vince. He's yeah. the next VY. <laughs> and it's like, why? Just because he had a, got a first down against a second team defense? Like, well, come on, that's. I, I'm not calling the coaches stupid. I'm, <laughs> I mean, they know what they're looking at, but 
let's hold off just a minute. You know, Case McCoy's in Peru for ten weeks. Yeah, that's the only thing I got out of that press conference. Yeah, I don't. He's I don't, on a mission. I don't think. I don't think Swoops is in any danger. Of, of, I don't think Case is in any danger of losing his backup gig. Swoops needs to go out there and do. I don't. I like kids who played for winners in high school. It's not a prerequisite, but quarterback. You went one and nine. Now maybe you had the worst high school team in the in the history of high school football. And nobody else could have gone better than that either. But uh, you got to show me, especially now with the way things have gone here at Texas. In the last three years, they have showed that they are they are they are failing at developing ball players. And so, why should I think anything's going to change until it changes? When you develop one, then I'll give you credit.